with shape on them. Okay, we're now going to look at this beam here and if you can zoom in you can actually see it's got some really nice texture to it. It's shaped on the outside uh, and this beam here is the same as well. They start wider and they go into a conical shape at the top. Uh, Dr. Michael is going to show us how to do that. Okay, to start making this component, what Dr. Michael does is he gets three pieces of thin pear, so something like that, bends them upwards and glues them to the required shape. Um, that's technology we've already looked at, it achieves a general bend. What he then, then does in step two is he attaches two pieces of ebony to the outside of the three planks, so to that side and that side as I've shown here in the diagram. These pieces of ebony will bend upwards. Now, to get that bend in the ebony, he gets a piece of ebony over here, bends it with steam in its natural direction. So if he's got a piece of ebony even like that, he bends it that way, uh, to the required curve of the pair, and then cuts downwards and will get two symmetrical shapes, one for the left hand side of the ship, one for the right hand side of the ship. And I've shown that here. So you bend with steam and cut this way to get two pieces. One of these pieces is brought across to here, which is a cross section we see. Another piece is cut to cover the back side. The other thing he said is the back side isn't visible on the ship uh, as much as this side is. So he actually used some scrap ebony for this section and joined them up. So that's another option, but this side is definitely visible, so you want to make that for one piece. When it's joined to the frame, we then come down to step three, and he shapes this outside piece of ebony using sandpaper, and he only shapes it once it's attached to the pair. When I say shape, he just gives it uh, a nice contour. Now, you don't have to use that particular contour. You could introduce any series of shapes you want to for the forming of that piece. But it's important to know that it's shaped after it's attached to the pair frame. The back end doesn't have to be shaped. Now, in step four, he gets two additional pieces of ebony, which have, again, a nice shape on them like that, and he attaches them to the top and the bottom of the pair. So these shapes have a cross section, well, not a cross section like that, because remember, these sections will be removed to make a curved shape, but that will bend very easily in the direction of the pair because it's bending like that. So you don't have to use steam with the top and bottom shapes, but they are shaped before he puts them onto the pair frame and he uses PVA to glue it all. And then when you look on it, you basically have this shape here. You've got essentially quite a few different details Technically speaking, that's what the cross section looks like. You've got three pieces of pear, one of ebony at the front with that shape, a piece of ebony at the back with that shape, and two additional pieces of ebony enclosing the pear so you can't see it. The other thing you've got to remember is this became more conical as, it, as you move along the length. So you need to take that into account when you're also shaping the beams. It's not as easy as having a completely straight piece that doesn't become conical. And again, as I mentioned, you can have any sorts of shapes in this middle piece but if you do have a very complex shape here, it's going to become even more complicated towards the narrow end. So this is a technology to give a, a piece of wood the appearance of being solid ebony when in fact it's not solid ebony and made up of quite a few different pieces of ebony and pear. Mm. These top and bottom pieces that we just spoke about have a nice semicircular shape. Now, to achieve that in the wood, assuming this is a piece of ebony, what Dr. Michael does is he gets a razor blade which has got some pre-milled grooves in it according to the thickness of the ebony. You can see one there and a wider one here, narrower one here and so on. And all he does is he gets that and runs it. And I'll just say I just this way? What is this? Yeah. Ah. 
runs it along like that on an angle. Now I haven't got the right width of pair here. Eto? All along that or all along the full length. You don't stop that halfway. It's not stopped. That stop. Yeah, you don't stop. Very you run it along the full length, but I think you get the idea, and that will cut the shape in the ebony. And then he finishes it off with sahurik or sandpaper. Just a light sanding to get rid of the burrs. And that then has a contour and can be attached to the top of the pair frame. So that is one possibility. Uh, for profile, that is difficult, yes? Then yes. Oh, 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 oh. What? It's uh, no good. Impossible. That is this technology okay. impossible. Then you That's would use uh, uh, result. Result uh, not good. Not good. Not yep. good. Well. Doctor Michael, I just asked him why he wouldn't shake this plank uh, on the forming machine, that machine that does the contours, and he said for very simple shapes, for example, the semicircle that we're trying to achieve, this technology is best because you'd have to make your own drill piece for this for the forming machine and it will just take too much time and this will work effectively. If you're trying to cut more complicated shapes, for instance, a shape like this, he's explained that this tool will not work well and that's where you get an advantage using the forming machine. So that's why he's used this technique just to give that semicircular edge on that one piece of ebony. Yes. Oh, uh, this technology, yeah? what uh, possible for this profile? Possible. Possible. What? Wow. For this part, uh -huh. what our detail, the yeah? conus, yeah? cone, yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's going it's to a cone, very, yeah, uh, turning machine impossible, yeah? make, uh, yeah, it's made in, in, in turning machine, they are impossible, yes, mm -hmm. but now what this part, yeah? what it's, yeah? two what? details, standard, all along, all along, all along. Yes, mm -hmm. but and uh, this technology m more than is possible. Yes, okay, possible, okay. possible. Mm. But, but this machine better. No, it's variant. It's variant. But mm. so there you test, have it. Test and control. What? Test and control. Test and control. One technology. Next technology. There. Uh, uh, what is the result better? Da? Yeah, so he's saying you've got to test oh. different techniques and see yes, which gives you yes, the best yes, result. Yes, well. Yes. Stage one. Da. Yeah. We made uh, this detail from Pia. Yep, from here. And? Uh, da. Conical shape. Yes. yes. After glue pair. Uh, uh, after after glue pair. After yeah, glue yeah. pair. Connect. Da. What are the, what is block? Just in my what is that? How? Oh. Three? Yeah. Oh, we'll get we'll get one. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What is here three, three. Dr. Mishka. Three. Oh yeah, you got three. Sorry, sorry. Three. What is, is it? we made that? And after I show what is. Yeah? Mm. Conic. Uh conic. Connect and after conical. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So it's what is very easy. It's because very we've got a conical shape down here. As I said, it goes up to a point. Um, he's saying that over here, you glue the pair together, and then on the disc sander, as he's done here by just going disc sander along this edge, he gets a conical shape yeah. in this here. So he's sanding off the top edge and the bottom edge towards this end. With ebony, with when, ebony. when conical? Conical. Here what? or here? No, uh, no, no. What, what? Stage two, da? Our Stage two, we've got the conical shape in the pair. Ah, I, what are you doing? Ebony not conical, da? not conical. Not conical. I, with glue and... Da? Okay. Understand. So, so pair, da. ebony. Da. Ebony not conical. Not conical. What is what this? Da? What is... What yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what, what, what is... Yes? Okay, ebony's on there. Da. Glue. Glue, da. Glue. Yeah. Okay, now yes, again. Yes. Again. And then forma. Yes. Okay. So pear has its conical shape. 
we attach the ebony with no conical shape. Ebony yeah. glue. Yeah. Glue. Yeah. We come to the machine. Yeah. Conical. Yes. Yes. And then forma. forma. Suharik. Yeah. Forma. Yeah. yeah. And then we have that first bit of ebony glued on yeah. with a back bit, and then we attach the two. Yes, yes. It's, it's detail. It's our detail from Pia. It's a basic. Uh, it's a basic. It's the, it's the basic shape. Da, it's a basic. Yeah. What? So step what? one. We we made chablon, da? Before. Before we made before. chablon. Before with chablon. <laughs> what is uh, real, da? What it's real of in drawing. Yeah. Da? We follow the plans to what? make the it's, shape we need. It's line. It's line. What it's line. Is our chablon. Mm -hmm. We we ignore that. Mm -hmm. And and uh, after that cut the pia. What is? Yeah. yeah this side. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, it's mm -hmm. basic. Da? Yeah. Yeah. When I cut ebony, da? I saw. Yeah. Not cut pear. Yeah. Yes. Cut pear. Yes. Yes. It's okay. a basic. It's the basic template. So what he's yeah. saying, I'll just explain that. He makes a template from the plans, which show the exact form that this has to take. He gets the three pair planks, joins them together um, to follow that form. Yeah. Then, after he's joined the pair planks, he puts this on the disc sander and cuts this to the exact required tapering at the front, because remember the whole point of this whole conversation yeah. is that this gets narrower here and wider here. Yeah. So he um, goes to the plans, cuts off the required amount from the pair, then he gets the ebony, joins the ebony on, then takes this to the disc sander, sands the ebony only, being careful not to cut any of the pair because that's already got the exact shape he needs because the pair is a template. When the ebony is sanded down to the same level as the pair, uh, he then shapes the ebony um, cross section to get that semicircular edge and then he attaches the other side doing the same thing and then the top two sides above and below and that's the figure made according to the exact shape that he needs. I'm not talking about the other piece It's a really detailed, huh? yes? Yes. Yes, but it's what, what, what and what, yes? Forms. It's a sphere? Yep, top view. Da. It's boku, yes? Side view. Da, right. Так вот, я так нарисую. Значит так. Yes. Вот. 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 From pair? Da. One detail. One detail, that top yes. bit going across. Two detail. What is? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Connect the, the detail after this, after this. Ebony. Mm -hmm. Da? Mm -hmm. And, and I, what? Uh, this technology. The same technology as this, da. as we just previously two detail, discussed. Two detail. One, two. Da. Connect. Only two detail. Oh, three detail, three, four, four detail. It's cover ebony does not matter. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. so again, the pear base uh, covered in ebony with the required shapes on it to give it a nice form. Now, I'll just, if you just want to cut that, we'll show you the pear. Okay, the two pieces we just spoke about, that one and that one. So he's saying he makes those out of two pieces. Again, covered, uh, pear covered with ebony and the same technology as you used for these two pieces on those two. He's also indicated that this section between the two planks we're just discussing also has the same technology as those two. And you can just see here, this piece starts there and goes all the way up to the top, getting narrower towards the top. Very slow. <laughs> what? So one piece of pear first underneath. First tearing and can you dig it? That what first retail, that? What must be made. What? After 
uh, what it's regular. After yeah. this detail? Da, yes. One, and this detail? And two. two. Da? Okay. Yeah. First detail is this big stem One. piece. Mm -hmm. Then these two pieces. Yeah. After. After this. After what? that. This detail. <coughs> okay. And this detail. Yeah. Can you get that? This, these two fillers are put in after that. Can you get in on those, Ivan? Mm -hmm. You got them? They're pretty important, actually. This detail and this detail. So the first piece, number one, yes. is this piece. Da. Then that and that. Da. And then that middle piece and that bottom piece. Yes. Well, is that what our detail? First, two, finished. three, four, what, what is So you can see, this yeah. This part finished. Finished. Yeah? This part is finished. Da. After this, what? This detail here. This detail? Yes. This de oh, no, that's this detail da. with the two holes in it. It's a padushka for Kanata. What? Yeah, Karne. Da. No, this detail. Da. What it? Yep. What? Yep. After, after this. What this regal one, one, two. Yeah. Are you getting a close up, Ivan? So, after he's done this piece we just discussed, he puts in this part with the two holes. Da. This part. This part. And these uh -huh. two beams that go up there on both sides of the ship. Yeah. Mm. What, uh, this, this is picture six, by the way. This detail, huh? yeah. It's a tuba of toilet. Toilet. Uh, it's detail <coughs> for Rivoli. Uh, another ship. Not, not have, have okay. this detail. Okay. Huh? That it's, detail may not uh, be on another uh, ship. Uh, it's only for it's Rivoli. It's for Rivoli. Bunny Mario. That regularly. What is? Yes. Yep. One and two. That. That. Then she. Yes, I will show I know, yeah, we'll do that. Next. Oh, it's detailed, huh? It's... Okay, this detail is then inserted. Da. It's not a uh, constant detail. Okay. I <coughs> delete this detail. He removes it later. What yeah. he's saying is it's not a detail that stays in the ship, it's removed later. And I think it's only there to position. Yes. For correct position. Yes, it's a shablon. Shablon. It's a template ah. for the correct position for those beams that will be inserted. It's a frame of galleon. Frame. It's a frame mm. of galleon. Funny mail. Position. Frame mm. of galleon. What? That? After. Uh, what is photos? Yeah. Without photo 21. What? Frame. Galleon. Ah, uh, you can see First a curved. Frame. Yes. A curved section there. Uh, what? <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, uh, four. Okay. Uh, and uh, 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 control. So control. It, yeah, and control. And control. So control. once a frame is inserted in that position, yeah. if you yeah. just saw that frame, he looks and makes sure it's got the correct shape. After this, this regel, yeah? what it's... Uh, uh, what? Okay, pins. Pins. Metal pins. pins. Metal oh, pins. Oh, oh, oh. It's uh, not constant. Yeah. Uh, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this detail, Dr. Michael. This what? detail. After this, da, uh, after. Uh, what, what is this detail da, I made? Da, not uh, finish uh, con uh, connect. Not finish, finish, not finish connect. Connect. This is picture 14, by the way. Ah. If you can just come in on it, Van, just zoom in. I just want to show you something. This detail connected to this detail at the back, which was that template. Remember how he said he had the shovel on or the template that will be removed? Yeah. These details are connected to that template to hold them in place. Yes. It's ebony, da? With glue. Ebony. Huh? <coughs> not... Uh, how do you or not grusha underneath? Not, it's too, small, too small, too small. Small, uh, <laughs> what? Ebony, yes, with glue. Here. Glue For, here on frame and glue here. What is this? The part one, two, three. Yes. Glue, glue, with glue. But not glue. Not, Eto. No, no, no. Eto shablon, no glue. No. Uh, what? Yes. Glue here and here. No more glue. Oh, no, no. <coughs> what this part, da, and what it's connect, regel and frame without glue. Oh, without glue. Without glue. Without glue. Glue, without ebony, glue. with uh, shablon frame. What it's? Not clean. Ah. Uh. Regel. 
Yes. Understand. Ebony glue shablon. Yes. 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 How take ebony later? Uh -huh. Sure. It's a Finnish connect. It's okay. a Finnish connect. Yeah. What? After. Yeah. Uh, uh, delete. Regel. Yeah. How? Regel. And frame. Delete. Okay. Yes. I think what he's saying and here. And cut. Mm -hmm. And cut. Yeah. Inside. Okay. Frame and ebony, one side, two side, and another side. Yes. Okay. Understand. I think what he's saying is he removes the pins, removes the frame, the shablon, the template, and then cuts, and the back can be filled in with ebony. Oh, the wood. I wood believe. Sure. This is another picture. We're looking at picture 14 over here. This is picture 13 which shows another view of the template at the back. Uh -huh. I don't quite understand what he means, so we might get some clarification on that. Regel. Da, it's regel. Delete. Delete. This regel. Delete. Ah, this take off. Yeah. This. Delete. What is? Da. Okay. What? Okay, this, these beams going across are joined to the template. Oh, I see. These frames running up and down are glued to the shablon, glue. Yes. This shablon, eto, niet glue. Not glue, not glue. Yeah, not glued. So these beams coming across, one, two, three, are not glued to the shablon. They're, they're only attached to it with pins. But these frames, these ebony frames running vertically, are connected to it. So, yes. take off. And frame, hop. Yeah. And then he pulls out the shovelon which has the black things attached, yeah. puts it on the table. What? Oh. What? I have frame, huh? Yeah. What is here? Uh, Bonnie? Yes? Yeah. Uh, Bonnie? Mm -hmm. uh, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After this, da after, cut, cut. Yes. Yeah. Cut and da what? Ebony. One side, two side, and ebony. Yes. Galion have many many mistake mistakes. Mm. Cannot use drawing. No, drawing uh, not help. Yeah, not yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. Funny Mario. And this is the final construction. Now you can see where beams have been cut just along oh, that edge there good show oh good good for us oh along yeah, that perfect. edge there yes good. perfect yeah pin yeah yes mm. position and uh, yes. and then uh, all construction it's uh, yeah very so what he's saying uh, i finally worked this out he's got these white pine or pair things joined down the middle just a shablon template that he uses you can see that these beams that run across here there's three of them there's one there one there and one underneath are temporarily pinned to this template however those black beams that run vertically are glued to the template and you can just see their edges there 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 and so on when everything is fitting perfectly what he does is he pulls these pins out these beams are removed and then so is the template. The template is then cut along there yeah. in a V-shape. Cut along and that middle section is removed. This side here is covered in ebony on both sides with all of these top, bottom and in front. So essentially, he is actually left with part of the shell of the template in the ship. 
only with that middle section removed covered in black ebony and you can see that when you look at the model it's then put back in these frames are attached and everything is glued in position the advantage of making this template is it lets him make sure the form is absolutely perfect symmetrical on both sides before he actually fixes it with glue um, and you can see the pins in there clearly joining these beams to the template the middle beam to the template and the bottom beam to the template and this is photo 18 uh, all you've got to remember critical here that this template is actually kept in the model but only this middle section is removed and a bit of that horizontal bit is is still there because this is one can this becomes remains as one actual piece but that middle section is cut and removed and I'll demonstrate that on paper okay Okay, uh, this is the template that he uses for the front of the ship. It's a, a piece like that, um, and there are, I think, three or four of them stacked up in front of each other with a middle beam that goes down the middle. Uh, I just wanted to clarify this with the camera. Dr. Mark has just drawn in a centre line and just done things like shown that that distance has to be equal to that distance, that distance, and so on. This is a shovel on a template to make sure that the model is going to be symmetrical at the bow. What he does is he glues the ebony beams onto this template, just like that. The, these uh, dashed lines are, uh, are ebony. And the template also has grooves for those horizontal beams that curve up um, those ones there. So they're cut into the template as well. This template is inserted into the model. Remember all three layers of it. The beams, the horizontal beams are put in the grooves and they're wired in. So the horizontal beams are only wired in, they're not fixed with glue, but this ebony is fixed to the template in with glue. When the assembly is perfectly symmetrical, when it all looks spot on, the wires are popped out, this template is removed from the front of the ship, put down, and the template is then cut. Obviously perfectly symmetrical, in this sort of a shape and you can see it on the model now that is kept so you actually only have this part missing and this is one piece this is then covered in ebony uh, front that section is covered in ebony and the back is covered in ebony and it's then put back into the model these pieces are ready, ready to go, and these horizontal pieces are then fixed in with glue, and you know the assembly will sit perfectly. So this template is actually used in the final model after the middle section is removed and after it's tested with wires to make sure that it sits perfectly. You can see uh, what uh, frame for uh, gallium. Ah, yes. The frame shape can be yeah. achieved from drawings. Yeah. Uh, the, but not good. Not good. Drawing have many, many mistakes. Yeah. Many mistakes. And real work. Bad. No. Okay. But, Bonnie Mayo. But I made... Uh, what? Regal. It's a regal. Yeah? But... I'm going to you on this. Yeah. yeah. They're the actual... I didn't draw them, but yeah, they're, they're the planks that are going to fit into there. Oh. Oh. But we made regal. Yeah. yeah. We made these pieces earlier. After this. With Sverko. After this. It's an our ship, da? It's uh, yes. What we? Uh -huh. What it's a can you dig it, da? Okay, it's mm -hmm. real. What? Mm -hmm. What we made one regular. We're looking da? down on the model now. Yes. That's the piece that we've just two, that fits into the grooves. Two. Pin. One pin, two pin, three pin, four pin, da? Yep. Very important. Uh, this regal mm, must be uh, very symmetrical yeah? yep. and very yep. very important. Сделали, да? After this, what? Uh, это what this regal? Yes. Yep. That's the section da. that we're talking what about here. Da. This piece here. Yes. That piece. What? After, I uh, connect. Uh, at one, two, three. Da? Regal two. What is? Da? Wow. Wow, yes. Yep. <coughs> wow, wow. Thumb two. Da? Mm -hmm. One, two, one. And three, yes? And three. And three. What? But after this, though it's 
symmetric it's line the middle line after this I show ah I have for for our frame the uh, making yes Shablon. Shablon. This da. is a template that he didn't make. Yes. And I see dark at the distance um pitancet millimeters. Fifteen. Da da. Yes, good. Uh and then you make shablon. <laughs> then he makes a template. And made shablon. I have real distance. You have the real da. distance. And I uh, so, uh, Dr. Michael.